Before we move into a deeper discussion around programs and strategy, let's spend some time discussing evaluation and knowledge management within nonprofits. These are processes that should be baked into a nonprofit's work from the beginning. And to emphasize their importance, I'd like to talk about them before we even get to the nonprofit's core work, as these themes are universal and critically important. Put simply, according to one of my most important mentors in the philanthropic sector, Paul Brass, the former CEO of the Hewlett Foundation and now a faculty co-director at the Stanford Center on Philanthropy and Civil Society, evaluation is a tool for learning how individual givers, foundations, and nonprofits can do our work better. It shows us what works, what doesn't work, and why or why not. As we have discussed, to effectively create measurable impact, we must identify upfront what success will specifically look like way down the road. So we have to look at it in terms of a short-term perspective, an intermediate-term perspective, as well as a long-term perspective. And as we envision what those milestones might be, we must identify what data and evidence will indicate that those milestones have been achieved? What data is currently tracked that would help demonstrate progress towards your goals? What data would you need to capture as you move forward? At a macro level, the organization should have key indicators for success. These vary by nonprofit, but typically they involve both quantitative data, like the number of lives saved, the number of people impacted, the specific amount of support that's provided, as well as qualitative feedback, such as who serves on its board, what foundations fund that particular organization, whether or not it has government or community support, and perhaps most importantly, how the ultimate beneficiaries of its programs, services, and products actually feel about what the organization is providing them. Does the organization formally evaluate its own programs and operations? If so, what are the results? And if not, does it plan to in the future? Perhaps it uses an external evaluator. While not always available and quite often extremely expensive, it can be useful to investigate whether a formal research assessment has been completed on the nonprofit's programs by either an independent research center, an evaluation consultant, or a foundation. Make sure that the metrics used by any nonprofit ultimately indicate whether or not the nonprofit is on track to fulfill its mission and solve problems for the people it works so hard to help. As a litmus test, I encourage you to ask, how will achieving these goals help the community or organization that it serves? It can be easy to fixate on the wrong metrics. Any one of us who's a giver has probably done it before. For example, if you're a nonprofit providing water to the world's poor or to those living in economic disadvantage in the developing world, the number of wells that you have built is an informative measurement. However, an even more significant and relative statistic is the number of wells still in operation and what the length of time they have been in operation is, as well as how much water they provide per day and over time and how many people that provides ample clean water for. Constructing wells is an output. 
Some would say that even delivering clean water is an output. But the ultimate outcome could be something as broad as decreased child mortality rates or a community with stronger economic self-sustainability due to improved agricultural practices. But, but again, those measurements will be entirely situationally specific.